This is Mido, an AI powered full stack app builder that claims you can go from a single prompt to a complete working application, front end, back end, and third party integrations without writing code. The most unique thing about this AI tool that separates it from other AI app builders is all of these different plugins. So, let's suppose if you're building a SaaS product and you want to integrate Stripe payments because you want to create subscriptions, so you can easily simply just click on this add to button, and from here you can just like create an app and choose an app, and then you can integrate Stripe payments directly inside your project without dealing with hundreds of pages of the Stripe documentation. Similarly, if you're building an AI tool where you need to generate images using something like Nano Banana Pro, so you can easily just integrate this AI model as well simply by clicking on this Add to button. There are a lot of other plugins that you can integrate as well, like text to speech, speech to text, AI search, weather inquiry, news, global stock price data, Google Scholar, and all of these different plugins. In fact, you can create your own plugin as well. So you can just provide your API documentation and Mido will actually automatically create plugin for you. And that plugin, that you can even list in here on this plugin marketplace as well. This way, in future, if you'll be looking to integrate that same feature inside your application, you can simply just use that plugin that you just created for the previous project. Another really important feature is the backend services. So, whenever you're building any sort of application, the backend is already being built all together whenever you are like building your front end. So, you will have a fully functional backend. You won't need to like provide any third party services. You don't need to use Superbase, you don't need to use Neon or any of those third party backend platforms it will create all of the database tables let's suppose for this application that i just opened in here so i have these different tables one is profiles the second one is public profiles and the third one is survey responses so i needed to conduct a survey i just created an application using Mido, and here you can see in this backend all of the survey responses are being stored in here on this table similarly you can easily manage all of your users in here you don't need to spend any extra money on creating an admin dashboard, all of that will be done automatically right here inside Mido. Similarly, if you're using any third party services, like in this case, I'm going to use an open router API key. So for that, you can just easily provide your API key in here, and then you can use open router and access all of different models from open router in here directly inside Mido. There is this another amazing feature, which is called data analysis. If you just click on that, and here you will get all of the analytics related to your application. Let's suppose if you're going to have subscriptions as well, so you can find all of that data here right here inside this data analysis tab. What surprised me wasn't just the speed, but the completeness. The app actually runs. It's not a mock-up. There is a real data flow, real logic, and real interactions. So let's just quickly dive deep and let's just start creating something real useful using Mido. Okay, so to start using Mido, just go to Mido.dev, M-E-T-O.dev, or just click on the link in description. And after that, you can explore a lot of different projects in here. You can see someone just like created this Amazon clone, but just for the Christmas gifts. And this is like really high quality website and it actually looks like Amazon. People have even created different sort of games as well. So yeah, of course you can create 2D games and this kind of like games right here using Mido. Okay, so once you're ready to explain your idea, so here is the most important feature in here, which is this integrations, these plugins. So we can just like click on this and now you can just like choose any of the plugins that you want to use inside your project. So for sure you want to use Stripe payments if you want to like add any sort of subscriptions inside your project and also you can use maybe this image generation AI model. So I can simply just click on this as well. And let me just choose another AI model, which is which will be just like simple text generation. So I can maybe like choose this large language model. I don't know, it has not specified which one it will be, but I can just like add this one in here. I think this one will have the multi-model capabilities. You can easily choose among all of these different plugins. And once everything is ready, I can just start giving my prompt. So I can just give a prompt. So I've just created this simple prompt, which is I want to develop an AI YouTube thumbnail generator app. For the interface and core functionalities, please see the attached screenshot. So this is the screenshot that I have attached. And this is another application, which is an AI thumbnail generator. And this is the interface. So I have just like provided it as a reference. And now I can just maybe click on this prompt optimization button, or I can directly just click on this send button to start generating this application directly right now. But let me just click on this prompt optimization button. So there you go, you can see it has just created a very detailed prompt and I can now just click on enter button and now it will just start creating our application. And you can see it has already started working on it. And I think right now it is creating a detailed plan. And there you go, it has just created this requirements.md file. I can just download this 
or maybe I can just like maybe click on this and preview it properly just like this. So this is a detailed requirements dot md file that it is going to follow throughout the development of this project and once everything is ready i can simply just click on this generate app button let me just click on that and now the app generation will start so usually it takes like three to four minutes let's just see how long it is going to take for this project because this is a very detailed project with so many modules in it with like proper complete stripe payments module so with all of the required large language models already integrated inside the project so it is definitely going to take some time but right now you can see it has already started writing code and already started setting up the project directory you can see the project directory inside this code section you can simply just click on in here in this code and here you can find the project directory so let's just wait for it to finish the development and as soon as it will be done then i'll just resume this video okay so it took some time around i think four to five minutes and finally it has just presented these results in here but the main thing is if you just like go through all of the steps that it has already completed it has integrated the authentication system that you can see in here login we'll test that in a minute it also has integrated the all of the pricing and payments section as well so you can see that as well we'll test that in a minute too and also it has created the complete thumbnail generation functionality as well and during this entire development process if there was any error it automatically found that error and then fix that error and then implement all of the changings so now let me just quickly test this app i can simply just click on this sign up button and here i can just give a username i'll just give it my name and then i'll just provide a simple password one two three four five six seven eight nine zero the most strongest password by the way i then click on the sign up account and the sign up is failed database error updating user okay so we have got an error so i'm just going to give it this prompt when i try to sign up it shows the database error so this is a simple prompt that i'm going to give please find the issue and fix it also i can just take a screenshot of this error as well i can just copy it and then paste that in here and press enter and let's just wait for it to fix this error okay so apparently it has just fixed this database error the problem was caused by duplicate trigger both insert and update attempting to create profile records so it has apparently fixed this error let's just quickly try to create a thumbnail so i'll just give it a prompt so this is the simple prompt that i'm going to give a thumbnail about a vlog the vlog title is a day in london and that's it I can simply just click on enhance with AI as well or I can even upload my own face as well but let's just go with generate thumbnail and let's just see what it does. In fact if I just click on this enhance with AI so it is now going to enhance this with AI and there you go the prompt is enhanced that means the large language model that it has just integrated is working AI integration has been working already we did not provide any API key or anything it has automatically integrated everything in here okay so there you go okay so I just provided this prompt clicked on this generate thumbnail button and now it has already started generating this thumbnail you can see I am already logged in I'll show you that in a minute on database as well that how all of the data is being stored in different tables and I was assigned three credits only because I have this free plan and because I have already clicked on generate button so it has already detected one credit so that means the credit system by default is working fine so that's amazing as well okay perfect the thumbnail is generated and it looks amazing now let me just quickly show you what's going on on backend so if you just go to this backend services section in here and here you can find all of the tables that it has created based on our requirements the first table is face photos if you uploaded any of your photo as a user so it will just save that in this table i did not so it did not save any of that and then there is this order table to manage all of the payments and all of the orders and also this profiles table where you can find there's only one user right now which is me and because i was the first user so it has made me admin as well and right now i'm on this free subscription and you can see i have only two credits left because i already consumed one credit and then there is this table where it stores all of the generated thumbnails okay one more thing that you need to do is you need to simply just click on this configure stripe button it has already provided in here and you need to like provide your stripe secret key you can just like sign up for a stripe account if you don't have one just go ahead and create one and then provide your stripe secret key and then provide that in here click on submit and your stripe integration will be done and then this pro subscription plan will work fine and once everything is finalized so you can simply just click on this publish button and there you go you can see our app is published if i just click on this link you can also add a custom domain as well but for now you can just like use this subdomain this link as well so now your project is live you can just click on login and also you can just 
like provide your username my username was zan password was this simple password and press enter and now it will just log me in and that's perfect overall Miro feels like one of the more practical ai app builders that i have used recently i'm not trying to impress you with flashy demos if your goal is to turn ideas into usable apps concepts or build small SaaS products without writing code so this is definitely worth exploring if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section and i see you next video bye bye